Okay, moving forward, we are going to install um, our new Champion Bass Boat seats. They came early for Christmas. Um, super excited. So I did the accent color in this blue with the gray. And it feels like the quality is actually really good on the seats. So um, LeBrock Industries in Texas made these for me. Um, they sent me all the hardware and I'm super excited. The company that I um, had do my seats five years ago, they broke a bunch of the brackets. My seats were loose the entire time and they blew out on a trip to um, Apache Lake, which is a really bumpy road. Um, anyway, forced me to get new seats, so I just got all new seats and we're going to turn this um, champion into a nicer, newer looking addition so i'm um, excited to get it done there's lots to do um, stay with me as we uh, upgrade the boat here so Go. seat number one was super easy and done it looks pretty good Right off the bat, um, I'm gonna clean this. You see how see how dirty this is. Fishing weights. This is the drain. So uh, one cool thing about bass boats is when the water comes in, it just it's designed to flow out to the bottom and then bilge out. So because these are low-profile boats, so they're designed to take water on and then just bilge it out real quick. So anyway, hard for it to drain though when the drain is completely clogged. So this drain's got stuff in it too. So we're gonna clean it up real nice. See what see what looks like when we're done.
So I bought this boat five years ago. It's a 1999 181 DC Champion. And it's been a great boat for me. The motor's old, it's 150 horsepower. Um, it smokes like crazy, but it runs really good, knock on wood. Um, I'm probably going to get a new bass boat sometime in the next 12 months, I hope, but I don't need to. I've taken really good care of this boat. I got it recarpeted. I obviously had the seats reupholstered once. Now I'm getting new seats completely. Um, I have new graphs on it that I bought five years ago, and now I just got two new graphs um, that I put on here. So fishing wise, it's perfect. I can't complain about it at all. I just, if I was going to get a bigger boat, I'd get a 20 or a 21 footer, a um, little bit newer. I'd like to get a four stroke that doesn't burn as much oil as this motor does. But I've had a blast with this boat. Um, my top speed's like 56 miles an hour. My props got a tiny couple dings from hitting some rocks and that. So it's not even perfectly tuned. And I've had no real issues. I mean, I could probably get 60 miles an hour with a better prop. I don't know. But this boat's been great for me and I really have enjoyed having a bass boat, which was sort of my dream since probably my teenage years. And I finally bought a bass boat when I, um, in my early forties. And um, I've really, really enjoyed this boat and I've tried really hard to take good care of it. And you can see here as I clean this up, um, even though it's not going to get all of the dings and scratches out, I'm able to make it look super nice. And I'm sure that I probably can sell it for quite a bit more than I paid for it just because I've really upgraded it and taken good care of it. So if you're thinking about getting a bass boat, you don't have to get a brand new one to have a really nice boat. Um, and I love this boat. So that's um, kind of the key with boats, I think, is just... You got to take good care of it, which is what I'm doing here.
this was the most difficult part of putting my new bass boat seats in was putting the the hinges on the bottoms of the new seats um, I just I used the existing holes um, if you if you have a champion the LeBrock Industries is definitely the way to go because they they make champion bass boat seats so um, I literally was able to pull out the old ones and put the new ones in I lined up the holes I had to get underneath you'll see me kind of like crawl down underneath I'm marking the bottom of the chairs the seat cushions with a with a pencil um, maybe it was a pen but anyway I'm marking the bottom of it so that I can um, know exactly where to put the hinges and then the holes the screws just went right back in uh, where there was already screw holes and you do have to be careful because you don't want to screw into your fuel tank or your live well or anything like that so I was lucky in this regard because these seats were a perfect match to my boat and they just went right into the same exact holes that I had before uh, but it's still you know a little nerve-wracking just putting holes in and anytime you're drilling through your fiberglass or these expensive new seats you want to make sure you're doing it right so uh, but this definitely was the hardest part of putting these seats in right here Okay, so we're coming to a close here on this little project. I didn't get the back seat put in because I want to get a new post. The back post is black. My front post is silver. The front post is newer, so I want to get a matching black, or excuse me, silver post for the back. And then I'll put my new fishing seat for the back on. Um, so I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready to get back to fishing. And I can't wait to get out with my new seats and uh, just see how comfortable they are and just get around and get back to what everybody loves, which is the fishing videos. So um, I'm excited for 2021. It's going to be a better year. Um, check out my new seats. I got some sweet pictures coming up here. Um, you can see the finished product turned out great. So I hope you guys like this video and I promise my next video will be all fishing. <laughs>